All right, folks, so we are, it feels like it's been forever since we've been here. We're back at New Jerusalem to finish connecting up their cables for the sound system and the mics that we put in the pulpit. Um, I brought my camera, some extra cables, and a monitor to test the SDI cables that we've ran everywhere. Um, we need to get back and pull down their old access point and put it over there. That's the only thing else I think needs to go in the ceiling. So I, I know I'm not going to be able to do that today. But the main thing is just to test all of the sounds, the mic jacks that we put in the stage, in the pulpit. Hook it up to some speakers, make sure that works, the monitors work, and then that's it. Then we're heading to New Vine. Um, that is a church that a while ago I built a computer for them, a video editing system for them, made about four years ago. And the pastor's interested in live streaming now. Um, Reverend Travis got a A10 Mini Pro, but there's no Ethernet line up there. So we're going to be pulling about three to four um, Ethernet lines through the walls back up to the balcony. We got to figure out how to get there um, from their router so that they can connect up. That's literally the only thing that's going on. We got another class to teach tonight um, at ECU and that's about it and then we're heading to charlottesville tomorrow so got a lot of stuff going on so waiting for pastor page so let's get in here and knock this out and then we move on to the next church to help them out all right so we're here um testing out some of the cables that we got so the sdi cable is working i placed this on just a uh, sony handycam and just connected it here with the aura on the other side, and then we got this bi-directional here, so we're getting the image, so the cables are fine, the SDI cables there are. Now, I need to go up here, hook these cables up together, and then terminate these on the end. We got our mixer here, and Pastor Page is bringing a speaker in here to test, and a mic, and then we're gonna go from there. All right, folks, so we got half the cables terminated. I think I found the two that are going to the speakers, I terminated them with a male end. I need to switch them over to female. But I only have three more cables left. Well, actually four. But all the other ones have tested out with the mic out here. Let me grab my stuff here. Make sure all this is off. Because we're kind of out of time. Because we got to head over to Nuvon. But all the cables have been placed there in the ceiling. That part is done. I need to close that up. I didn't do that, but we'll clean that up. And I've gone and marked the jacks that I have linked. So I just put a piece of electrical tape besides the ones that are done. So both of them are done. That one, none on that one, that one, that's left. And like I said, I think those other two are the ones in the front. So. I just am out of time um, to get over there. But we're gonna, I need to put up an estimate for maybe two 55 inch screen TVs right there, one on that side, one on the opposite side. I need to get over to their old church, get the access point, put it up here, but I don't know where their internet's gonna be. So there's no rush to do that. Um, I'm going to need to see if I can call in some favors or we're going to just order another PTZ and a remote control to put it in the back and they'll just start with one right now. Um, one, two, three, get three SDI to HDMI converters and get an a SDI distribution matrix, probably do a mono price one so that I can run the feed to these two TVs and the one that's in the fellowship hall. Um, and right now it's just gonna be a direct line. Um, that camera is just gonna go to a remote control and feed directly into both of the TVs. Um, we'll talk later about maybe putting a A10 Mini Pro or something there in place to get them what they need, but very good. I, I feel good. The fact that the terminations turned out well. I didn't have to rip up the floor and do nothing like that. So we got four more jacks and we're done. I also need to come in and price out some powered speakers. There's an outlet that they put up there um, to plug into. And I need to find two powered speakers, mounts for this, then run two cables all the way back. 
Um, I'm probably just going to get a 100-foot um, XLR cable so I don't have to do any termination. So it'll be a direct line all the way back. And, yeah. So let's pack up. Let's head over to Nuvine, and we're going to pull some cable. And then we be up out for the day and get ready for class because I got some homework I need to do um, before I teach my class um, that. So let me pack up and let's get up out of here. Hey, good morning, everybody. We are heading to back to New Jerusalem Baptist Church. We got I delivered their speakers um, that they ordered. We got their mounts here to hang that up on the wall. We have another AV Cans um, AI based camera. You never know, they might get it. Never know. Um, and we got extra cables for the speakers. We got TV mounts, everything like that. So we're going to try and make sure if we can hang the speakers, hang the TVs. I have this PTZ camera. Um, I'm going to test it out because they don't have internet there. So I'm going to bring my stuff to try and um, set up a network just to connect to this and test out the AI tracking inside the church. If not, I'm going to have to come back for that. But the main goal is to get the speakers. Um, I wasn't able to get to my church to get my ladder. I think there's a ladder there. I don't know if it's tall enough. Um, but we're going to try and get up in the ceiling, run these new complete cables all the way back into the media room, test the sound there, finish the last three mic jacks. But Pastor Page says it's not that important if they're not working right now. I need to make sure that the cables are fine up under the pulpit. Um, yeah, so speakers, TV, and test that we get a signal on all the TVs. And we still got to come back and hang the access point at the that's at their old church. And I think we have to pull down the TV mount that we put at their old church to go into Fellowship Hall. But let's see how much we can get knocked out today. So let's go downstairs. All right, so we got a lot of stuff here. Thankfully, there is a ladder here. I'm going to go ahead and start placing out where these speakers are going to go. I believe we decided they're going to be right in front of this window as well as right in front of this window here. So need to find a stud, start securing that, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, speakers are done, and you can see we just finished hanging the TV there. We got one more. Sound is fine. Um, I just ordered an adapter, a XLR to quarter inch to plug into the mixer here. Once we hang this, um, run the cables. Um, we got the TV in the back. I don't think that's here. We had to pull that from the other church. We're gonna hang that. But then I'm gonna pull the cables here, run a test, and see if we get an image on the TVs once we're done. So I'm just putting Velcro on the back of the TV for the SDI to HDMI converter. So. Let's do that. All right, both TVs are hung. Now what I'm gonna do is move the ladder to the back, pull that cable down, and I'm gonna hook up my handy cam and make sure that I have the right cables going to each and sync everything up so that it can be displayed there with the SDI splitter. All right, if y'all remember, remember we pulled all these SDI cables, so now I can't remember which one it was. I have my label maker. I'm going to label them, but we have a tester on the front connection for the PTZ um, if they decide to go with that. And then I just got to test the other one. I just need to find which one is which. So, yay, let's test that. And then we can get an image on the TVs. All right, so we got one image. Now we just got to find out which one is which, <laughs> label it, and work on others. All right, we got all the TVs labeled. We got camera right here for the front PTZ jack and we're getting an image same thing on that side so cool um, got the back one um, labeled as well too so now believe it or not the only thing I else got to do and Pastor Page had to leave because I was gonna hook up the the AV cans here so yet again another chance I haven't had a chance to test it with somebody on the pulpit unless I set myself up, but um, there's no internet here. So I have to, <sighs> I, what I need to do is run the XLR cables for the speakers up and over, as well as over here. And they put the internet all the way on that other side. So either I'm gonna leave the internet in the office and run a coax all the way over 
into here or I'm just going to run a Ethernet all the way over, maybe three, just in case. Run three, no two. Run two all the way over um, to where it's there in the media room. So <sighs> let's, let's pull some cable. Woo. All right. So we got the cables pulled. We got a nice little conduit there hiding the cables. We got all the extra slack put up and away here. And we have more than enough cable on this side here. We're gonna cut a hole in this tile so we can run everything. Need a much bigger conduit for those cables. But we need the adapters to go in here to turn these into quarter inches or spikons because that's what we have back here. Those will be here today. Um, what else we got? I just got to do the same thing that I did here on that side. Plenty of cable left over. Um, so, oh, tired folks. Undo this cable. Um, cut this other piece of conduit here to hide the cables about 25 inches. And then this is done. I sent a picture to Pastor Page of here. So he's happy. Um, I'm gonna try and get all this other stuff done. And then I just need to test these other um, speakers, jacks here, it's only three. I'm kind of hesitant on it though, because um, really can't test anything unless we have those connections. And I'm disconnecting the other quarter inch cables that we had there. Um, now that we're putting everything up and in, in the ceiling and everything like that. So let's cut this other piece, get this side done, close up all the other tiles. Well, I already closed up all the ones that I need to do. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with all these extra cables that I have here. Um, those were for the RS-232 to talk between the project, I mean the projectors, the DTZs. And I think this long one here is for the access point that we're going to hang. And I really should have pulled that and put it over here somewhere. I don't know. I think I can probably just put it right here and it'll cover the same distance in here. Oh, oh I forgot. I still got to run the um, Ethernet cables in the fellowship hall all the way over to the media room. Ugh. All right, folks. So I am super done. I got here, we got the two cables pulled across the entire fellowship hall, plugged into there. And it's kind of sad to even think about it. The only internet they have here is DSL. So obviously they're not going to be live streaming with that. But um, maybe talk to them about some Starlink when it's available in here. I am beyond tired. I got a couple of tiles I just need to push up. But I need a conduit on the office where the router is. Um got a maybe a two inch pvc pipe or something like that run all the cables through there maybe three inch for that um and i'm just kind of burnt out right now um we got a lot of stuff cables camera is set up my camera is set up temporarily um pastor page had to go um do something so we're gonna have to come back and configure um configure the camera there and I actually probably need to put a switch over here because the two two of these lines are going to give network access to the cameras um, so probably need to put a switch back here um, one of these will give me more what I think I'm gonna do is actually put a plate on the wall here and put um, jacks for this so I'll shorten these that's why I didn't terminate these um, so I have one to be the line in. Well, both of them will be line in. One of them is going to go to a switch to sitting here, and then the other one is going to be extra for right now. So, <sighs> yeah, let me go to Office Max since I got to pass that on the way from here, and I'll be back to hook up the sound to this. But the cables are pulled for here, and yeah, I'm done. I'm very done today. So short video but they're almost done we're almost done here so I didn't get a chance to finish those uh, other three connections at the front but we'll test that when we head back here tomorrow I'm not tomorrow 
um, next time we head back because um, I think it's not this Sunday it's the following Sunday it's gonna be their first Sunday here if not if it is their first Sunday this Sunday coming up I might have to come back here um, Saturday or Friday evening and try and knock out the rest of the stuff but hey folks so we are heading back to New Jerusalem um, and looks like we're gonna be able to install this camera for them and it is the AVCAN's camera that we actually just finished delivering two more at Union Grove Baptist Church. So that is another install that we got coming up. Um, probably going to start it next week because we got all the TVs and all the other parts. Um, the majority of the parts delivered. Some more are supposed to be here today and then tomorrow. Mainly the TV mounts for the 75-inch 4K TVs. But we are here and I think I got enough stuff with me so we can hook this camera up and get it running and see if we can get it fed into the TVs up here and no one is here yet but hopefully somebody will be here shortly so let's get inside and we go from there all right now if you can remember we ran a bunch of cables in here already and because we're only using one camera we have to daisy chain and splice these cables together so originally two of these cables one is going to come from the remote that's going to be in the media room, goes to here, connects to this camera. Then there's another line that goes from here all the way back, so it would be daisy chaining off of that. So all we got to do is just splice those two cables together, and that would be the single connection going back there. When we add another camera, we just take the coupler, just joining those two cables together, put the camera in between, and boom, now you have two cameras controlled. Now I just need to test to make sure I remember which line is which and I need to pull the other ladder over here, put the cables in the conduit, mount the mount, and then yay, we'll go from there. Camera's installed, wiring is working, and we're getting the image. Yay! All right, so now all we got to do is put these cables together so that we can get the remote control. And yes, I'm in my undershirt. The air conditioning is not working here. That's why you're seeing me sweating like this. So, whoo, let's go over here and um, get the joystick working. All right, so the joystick must be working after I put those, put a coupler in between them because I pointed the joystick down, and yay! So let's just verify. Up for a little bit. All right, it's up right there, and there we go. Awesome. So that part is done. Now all I need to do is terminate the rest of these Ethernet cables here. I think I'm going to put a plate on the wall here to make it really nice and neat. And I got some tie wraps and stuff of that, but I might have to wait for that one. Um, but the good thing is I got this done, and now I just got to terminate this and put a jack on the other side, and then we'll have internet over here. And let me move this to input number one the cables for the speakers for their mixer is actually supposed to be delivered today if it hasn't been delivered already we'll be back for that but the bulk of this stuff except for you know i actually got the ties and everything to secure that stuff so let's go ahead and knock this out all right so surprisingly i finished up a lot faster than usual i guess it's like the closer you get to finishing it doesn't take as long um what else we got to do i have everything connected and i made everything look nice and neat um, back here yeah, it sounded like somebody just walked in oh that was just the door the wind closing it but anyway let's go back here and see what we did here Back here is where the internet is, the source. 
So we got our nice little conduit here. I do have the option of putting a jack on there. Um, if need be, I have the extra pieces for it, but I forgot that I had already terminated these. So it was enough just to make sure that everything is working. All the cable is in the ceiling, running all the way over here. The TV is not here yet, so we got to hang that. That's from the old building. But we tested it, and it is connected to the SDI splitter, so we should get a signal. We have another SDI to HDMI adapter that will plug into that. Extra conduit here. Got this all connected. PoE switch right there with the jack that we got that's running from the cables that's pulled over. There was an extra monitor sitting on the floor. I don't know if it's um, good or what. It does have a DVI port, so hopefully it supports 1080p. If it doesn't, I know um, where I can get another monitor that's just collecting dust that's not being used but works perfectly fine. I'll bring that over here, and then we have this. So right now, there is no streaming here right now, but what I have is this extra cable is for the front PTZ. Right now, it's literally the back PTZ plugged in and it's just split to all the TVs. This will be another one so that whoever's operating this can see exactly what this is since this is not in, this room is not in the sanctuary. So we got to clean that all up. We got a bunch of brackets and everything, but it's a whole bunch of stuff. I'm probably gonna push these cables all the way over to the corner pull them down and we have enough slack so I can pull them over here or I might just put them right there I don't know it all depends I got a two and a half inch grommet that I'm gonna cut a hole in that tile run all the cables through there and we're good to go and a lot of this needs to be cleaned up so we have more room ideally what I would really like to do is maybe put a 27 inch or a 32 and hang it right here and that would be the multi view um, when they get to the point because I'm, I'm sure they're going to get to the point where they want to live stream and I would suggest a um, a to mini extreme or something like that but yeah we're cool TVs work um, the the plastic is still on it because they got some cleanup they need to do in here we get in here and pull that down I need I'm gonna shorten up all those cables in the front this long cable right here that is for the access point that I'm gonna run right here or maybe right here. Um, that is already connected back there. Um, so that's cool because those are the two gray cables. All of those are connected to the PoE. So gray cable in the back would provide power to a camera if we put it there. And then the access point is gonna pull power from there. And I can't remember if what PoE standard that is. If not, we do have an injector. We'll just put it in between there. And there's enough jacks, enough imports, um, ports for a laptop or their computer that's back there. So the computer I built for them that does lyrics, what I might need to do is put OBS and let OBS be a switcher. And that would determine what goes out to here. I will put a capture card inside of that computer, which will take the input from the camera directly into OBS. OBS computer would be connected to the SDI splitter. That would look like it's an extra monitor. So in OBS, we would just say full screen projection from OBS onto all the TVs. So somebody running OBS would say scripture or camera or both. And that is until they get like a proper switcher, a um, hardware switcher or something like that. But we, we're closing the finish line. I probably got maybe um, one or two more days here and then because their service is next Sunday and they wanted me to be here for that because my pastor is going to be the guest speaker here so um, we need to make sure to get all the stuff up and working cables will be in and I think I might come back by here Saturday evening or Wednesday something like that it all depends but anyway let's get up out of here and go pick up the little girl